everyone and welcome to Alena Media TV. My name is Janet Tagbalan and it's time for our African history. And today we're going to go into Ethiopia. Let's look at the land of Ethiopia and the history behind Ethiopia. But before then, let's go for a break. When I come back, I will go delving into what Ethiopia stands for. Welcome back from that break and you're still watching Alena Media TV with me, Janeta Galanyo. Now Ethiopia country on the horn of Africa. The country lies completely within the tropical latitude and it's relatively compact with similar north-south and east-west dimensions. The capital Addis Ababa, new, which stands for New Flower, located almost at the center of the country. Ethiopia is the largest and most populated country in the Horn of Africa. Within the 1993 section of Eritrea, its former province along the Red Sea, Ethiopia became landlocked. Ethiopia is one of the world's oldest countries. Its territory extent having varied over the millennium of its existence. In ancient times, it remained centered on Aksum, an imperial capital located in the northern part of the modern state, about 100 miles from the Red Sea coast. The present territory was consolidated during the 19th and the 20th centuries of Ethiopian power and coped into Ethiopia's historical domain. Ethiopia became prominent in modern world affairs first in 1896 it, when it defeated colonial Italian in the Battle of Adwa and gained 1935-36 when it was invaded and occupied by Fascians Italian. Liberation during the World War II by the Allied Powers set the stage for Ethiopia to play a more prominent role in the world's affair. Ethiopia was among the first independent nations to sign the Charter of the United Nations and it gave moral and material support to the colonization of Africa and to the growth of Pan-African cooperation. These effects culminated in the establishment of the Organization of African Unity since 2002. African Union and the United Nations Economic Commission of Africa, both of which have their headquarters in Addis Ababa. Ethiopia is bounded by Eritrea to the north, Djibouti to the northeast, Somalia to the east, Kenya to the south, and South Sudan and Sudan to the west. Ethiopia's topographic, one of the most rugged in Africa, is built on four logic formation, rocks of program origin, more than 540 million years in age, from the oldest basal complex of Ethiopia, as they do in most of Africa. The layer is buried under more recent logical formation, except in parts of northern, western, and southern Ethiopia, where these were exposed rock layers of the granite and the science. Geographic procession of the, Mo the mosaic era about 550 to 65 million years ago contributed to the Salome layers of the limestone and the sandstone, most which have been either eroded or covered by the volcano rocks. Younger layers are found in northern Ethiopia and on the floor of the Rift Valley. Lava flowers from the Caesarea era, the past 65 million years, have formed basically layers that now cover two-thirds of Ethiopia's land surface with a thickness ranging from about 1,000 feet to almost 10,000 feet. The Rift Valley forms a speculator garden and technical tough running through down the middle of the country from the northern frontier from Eritrea to the southern border of Kenya. Although Ethiopia's complex relief defiles easy classification, five topographic features are described 
these are the western highlands the western lowlands the eastern highlands the eastern lowlands and the rifts valley the western highlands are the most extensive and rugged tropical components of ethiopia the most speculator portion is the north central massif which form the rifts of the rough of Ethiopia, which evaluates ranging from 14,872 to 14,872 feet from Mount Ras Dagen or Dashen, the highest points in Ethiopia to the Blue Nile and the Tetiza River, channel 10,000 feet below. Lake Tena, Ethiopia largest island lake and the main reservoir for the Blue Nile River is located in this region at an evaluation of about 6,000 feet. The western lowlands stretch north-south along the border with Sudan and South Sudan and include the low, lower valley in the Blue Nile. Tekaza and the Baron River, which evaluation of about 3,300 feet. These lowlands became too hot to attract dense settlement. The Rift Valley is part of the largest East African rift system, hammered by the esca escarments of the Western and the Eastern Highlands. It has two distant sections. The first part is the Nordest where the valley floor winds into a funnel shape as it approaches the Red Sea and the Gulf of Eden. This is a relatively flat area interrupted only by occasional volcano coins, some of which are active. The Denaka Plain, in which the depressed known as the Kaba Sink, dropped as low as 38 feet below sea level. Its formed here, high temperature and lack of moisture make the Nordiest Rift Valley unattractive for settlement. The southwest section, on the other hand, is a narrow depression of much higher evaluation. It contains Ethiopia's lake region, an internal drainage basin of many small rivers, which drain into Lake Abaya, Abayata, Awasa, Longano, Shala, Kamo, and Ziwe. Together, these lakes have more than 1,200 square meters. That is also measured in 3,108 square in kilometers of water surface. The Upper Rift Valley is one of the most productive and most settled part of Ethiopia. This is African History and you're watching Alena Media TV. Can you send us your comment and your thoughts on this particular episode? Thanks for watching. See you next week.